Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video and I'll be discussing a little bit about my reading challenges. I have been requested in the past few months to discuss a little bit about how I read and how do I stay motivated, etc. Especially after I posted my reading challenges video, which I will link above in case you're interested in checking it out. But basically I indicated in the video that I want to read at least 250 books for 2018. And I've gotten a lot of requests since then, especially about how do I read so much and what are my reading habits. So I'm going to be discussing all of that stuff in this video today. So I don't actually anticipate this video to be extremely long because there's only so much I can say about how I read. And I'm also going to go into a little bit of my currently reads as well just because I'm going to talk about each situation and when I read each book. So for my reading habits, I am currently reading, at least for the past few years or so, I've always been reading at least four books at a time. I used to be the type of person who would read just that one book and now bring it everywhere and try to finish it. And I was able to, using that technique, I was able to finish about a book a day essentially and but honestly like at this point it's kind of annoying to carry like a hardcover with you or like a physical copy of you at every opportunity plus with commuting and Kindles and ebooks and all that stuff these days it's just not really feasible for me and I didn't want to have to read the same have the same book and physical copy at home because that's what I would prefer and then have to transfer it over to an ebook and or an audiobook whichever format later so because of that I've slowly adapted to the use of reading four separate books at each time so for my commuting books I usually have two books that I'm currently reading one is an ebook and one is an audiobook and depending on certain circumstances I will read one or the other for example if I'm walking down the street where I need to actually look where I'm going I will be listening to an audiobook or if I'm on the train and I don't really care about you know what I'm looking at I will read, be reading an ebook so because of that I usually have two books that I'm currently or at reading at the same time for my commuting hours and that usually lasts I mean I live about 40 ish minutes from work so back and forth I mean that's over an hour already it's like an hour and a half essentially not to mention every time I run errands or if I'm doing something like cooking for example all that stuff uh, where I can just pay attention to an audiobook or something like that I use all of my free hours to really be able to listen to audiobooks or read an ebook so the ebook that I'm currently reading is called Battle Dress by Amy E. Fall, and it's actually a really good book. I'm about halfway to three quarters of the way done at this point, and it's a bit about a girl who gets sent or she enrolls herself into a military school, aka West Point, and she learns to, to deal with discipline, following orders, and all, how to be a soldier, etc. And she really learns how to, you know, be a female in a male-dominated world, and it's actually really interesting. I thought there would be some romance involved in it, but at this point I don't see any romance in it, at least maybe, maybe in the future, I don't know, I'm still only like halfway or so done. But I really like it so far. It's actually really interesting to see how you know these cadets deal with all these rigid rules and how to follow orders and be a soldier as well as be a leader, you know. So definitely recommend that book as of right now. As for my audiobook, I'm currently listening to Crest by Marissa Meyer. For those who have not watched my In Loveathon Readathon TBR, um, I will link it above for those who are interested. But I basically started the Lunar Chronicle series so now I am on book three and as of right now I love it it's so good I think I am according to my audiobook I have about five hours left on this book and then I go into my final book so which is like 20 something hours like 24 hours or something something crazy but so far I really really like it I definitely recommend it definitely worth the hype so the next book that I read at the same time is my lunch book, which is probably the slowest book, at least the slowest pace that I read in terms of all the books that I read. And that's because for lunch during work, I usually go to the gym. So that's really my like my lunch time. And then when I come back and eat lunch, I'm not really, I can't really read a book after because then it'll be like two hours later or something. Uh, I don't think my boss would be very happy if I spent like two hours on lunch or I go out and eat out or I just walk around or something so the chance of me or like the time I actually spent 
sitting at my desk and eating and reading is actually quite rare like maybe once a week or something and because of that i don't really spend too much time on my lunch book and i don't really read it as fast so sometimes if you are my goodreads account there's always that one book that takes me like a month or two to finish and that is usually most likely my lunch book. And the lunch book that I'm currently reading is Teenage Wasteland by Lynn Biederman. Biederman? Um, but I just started, I think I literally read like a chapter in it. That's it, I think. I, I'm, I'm just really slow in reading my lunch book. I don't know why. Even though I read, I can read a solid like half an hour or 45 minutes sometimes, but somehow I just feel like it takes me a very long time to get anywhere. So I think I only read like maybe a chapter, maximum two chapters or something. But as of right now, so I don't really know what this book is going to take me as of right now since I clearly have not read too much of it. But essentially, I mean from the Goodreads page, because I clearly... I've only read like two chapters of the book and I don't have the book on hand with me but it's about like these group of kids who go to these weekly group sessions counseling sessions for severely obese teens and they're admitted into this exclusive weight loss surgery trial so I don't know it's quite interesting so far I think it seems to follow really about three patients it seems um, but they're all like really like severely obese and they're trying to lose weight at least a hundred pounds essentially so I don't know I mean we'll see how that goes it came out a while ago like 2011 uh, 2011 right no 2010 so I don't know I've only read a chapter or two so I can't really say if I like it or not I might even DNF it after a while I don't know We'll see. And then finally, moving on to my final book, the fourth book that I currently read at the same time of all the other ones is the book that I read at home. And this usually accounts for reading when I am, you know, eating or at like dinner or if I am like reading right before bed or etc. So the book I'm currently reading at home is Reckoning by Carrie Wilkinson. I actually have the third book in this series which is why I had to check out the first and second book. I haven't read it before and it's really good so far. It started off kind of slow. I'm about a little over halfway but it's about a girl who lives in kind of a dystopian world and her country is divided into the north south east and west and each section is kind of in charge of certain different things and there's offerings and she got selected to be an offering to the king and people don't know what offering means in terms of what they do exactly there are all these wild stories but they don't really know what's actually true so this book is really interesting actually it didn't really get interesting until she got to the palace as an offering prior to that i wasn't really getting into the book and it took me a few days to get to that point but now that i did it's really really good so i guess my biggest secret to reading all these books and so quickly is the fact that i utilize all of my time in reading i really don't spend too much time in not doing anything i'm not the type of person to just lie in bed and just kind of days you know like i'm not that kind of person some people can do that but that's not me i always need to be doing something whether that's watching a movie watching a show listening to a book reading a book whatever i need to always be doing something like i'm really bad at not doing something and in terms of where i get my books from i think i believe i actually did a video on this already i will link it above if i remember correctly but I mostly get them from publishers authors as well as audio obviously audiobooks I get them from audible and audiobooks.com and I also get a lot from the library I use utilize the library a lot especially ebooks nowadays I once I got the overdrive app to work on my phone it was super easy like I am able to check out all these books at the same time and return them right away it's super fast it's like really convenient and because of that that, like most of the time I get books from the library nowadays except for the books I get from publishers and authors I get a lot of those as well so two things I do want to point out is how I like reading slumps you know I know that a lot of people have reading slumps and I do too there are definitely times when I don't feel like reading especially when I like I mean as I mentioned I don't really I basically utilize all of my personal free time in reading or like watching shows or whatever. I don't really let a second or a minute go by without doing anything. I mean, I even listen to audiobooks while cooking because I feel like, well, what am I going to do? Like, I'm just going to focus on cooking. Like, of course, I could do something else at the same time. Like, I'm really good at multitasking. So, 
Obviously, with reading slums, that is definitely something that happens to me, but I think at this point, it's become so ingrained, reading has become so, so ingrained to my daily schedule that I just kind of move forward or I just, you know, end the book and just read a different book, you know, like I don't really... I think at this point it doesn't really affect me that much, if that makes any sense. Which leads me to my second point which is about reading more effectively. So I realized this past year or 2017 that I would sometimes like because I wanted to finish a book, I would strive through the book even though I did not like it. And I wasted so much time on it because it was really slow, like I didn't like it so obviously it took a lot longer for me to finish it and I just felt like at the end I was not, I didn't feel great about it. I felt like I wasted my time. So now for 2018, one of my personal things, I believe I mentioned this in a previous video, is if I felt that if the book is not getting my attention within the first like 50 or so pages, I mean give or take, um, then I'm not going to finish it. I'm not going to waste my time on this book anymore. And I know that some books do take a while to, you know, pick up, which is why I give myself time like enough time and I feel like once it, once it reaches a certain point in a book like once you reach like a third of the book in which I think most of the book these days are like 300 or so pages if I get up to like 100 pages and the book is still boring and I'm not getting I'm not finding myself engaged in it then I don't think it's gonna get any better after a while so with that in mind I'm not going to be spending all this time reading a book that I don't like especially with audiobooks they're so long I think the average audiobook is like eight to ten hours i mean are you really going to spend eight to ten hours of your life on a book that you don't like of course you're not so i feel like within an hour if i don't like it i'm just going to move on to the next book because there are so many books out there and i'd rather spend time reading a good book than spend a lot of time reading a bad book so i mean that's just my take on it so because of that i realized i've been reading a lot more effectively and efficiently this past few months than i've had in the past so yeah that's basically all i have to say for this video i hope this video helped you in terms of you know using, utilizing your time more effectively reading more efficiently um getting how to get rid of reading slums with like a reading habit etc i hope this helped in any way or fashion um but that's basically all I have to say. And right now, at this point, according to Goodreads, I've already read 35 books out of my 250 goals. And I think Goodreads says like, I'm on good track. So currently, I'm in good shape in terms of getting to my goal. We'll see how it goes. I mean, right now, it's only end of February. So... I still have more than 10 months left to go. So that's basically all I have to say for this video. If you do like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it for today, guys. Thank you. Bye.